There is a new secret weapon blueprint easter egg in the DMZ Koshai complex map. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it to unlock the heated madness weapon blueprint, which as you can see, looks absolutely beautiful. Now, this is without a doubt the most complex easter egg in DMZ to date, requiring multiple runs to get all of these parts. We'll break it all down to make this as easy as possible for you. So let's get right into it. But if you find the video useful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. It's free and only takes a second. Now, there are five blueprint parts that you need to find in total, but if you go to your challenges section of the main menu you can go over to the dmz challenges and then the complex and you can track what blueprint parts you've already found and what you haven't found now you can find any of these parts in any order you like but i'll show you the easiest parts to get and then we'll work on to the harder the way this easter egg quest works is once you come across one of the blueprint parts you need to exfil successfully with it for it to unlock so the first part to the weapon blueprint is to find the madness barrel skin and this one is the easiest to find out of all of them because it will always be in the chemical plant. There are quite a few spots that you can find this in and it will be at random somewhere towards the middle section of the chemical plant. Be sure to check all of the grates where you find the admin key as well as all the other smaller hallways because we found the barrel propped up against these cardboard boxes here. The next blueprint part we're going to go for is the magazine. And this is already five times harder than it is to get the barrel. This item can be found within the defense research division part of the map which is easily accessible by entering the complex through the OA Oasis entrance. Now, typically when going through the defense research division, you're completing a set of puzzles involving closing bunker doors with buttons in order to get rid of the radioactive gas. Now it is so important that you pick up every durable gas mask that you find as well as nuclear blockers because these are going to be essential for finding this blueprint part. There are three rooms in total where you need to repeat this puzzle process, but in the second and third one, it gets more complex where one of the bunker doors will not shut manually and you'll have to do it yourself out outside by spinning a valve, but it's within these bunkers where you have a chance to find a spawn for this magazine part for the blueprint. Some people have found it within one of the bunkers in the third and final room, others have found it in the second, and others have found it in the first, but there is a chance that it won't spawn in any of these bunkers. If that's the case, you need to be on the lookout for a defense research division exit key A and B. These are two keys that you can find in loot within these bunkers. If you do not find the magazine in the bunkers, you need to to find both of these keys, but you need to search literally every single bunker door within all three rooms to try and find this magazine part. But if you've searched every bunker room and have had no luck, but you've found both key A and B, you want to make your way out past the third set of rooms where you'd make your way to the chemical plant, and there will be this new secret door to your left, where you'll be able to insert both keys, granting you access to a secret path that you've unlocked bringing you into a completely secluded room that you won't be able to access anywhere else. And hidden within this room is also the chance for the spawn of the magazine, which is what happened in our game. The next blueprint part we're going to show you is how to unlock the optic. Now, the optic can be found within the barracks portion of the complex. And this is easiest accessible if you enter the complex through the Tarek village bridge entrance. Barracks is split into two swimming puzzles where you need to swim from one side to the other to get back onto ground. When you've gone through the first puzzle and you're up here, here towards this tunnel, the game is naturally directing you on where to go with arrows and trip wires. But if you make your way to the right, you will notice that there is a wall with a section boarded up with an X and you'll want to use a Semtex or a C4 to destroy it, revealing a new secret room. So it's in here where we're going to find the optic, but you have to have a rebreather on as your field upgrade. Otherwise, you simply won't have enough oxygen to be able to survive looking around here to find the optic. Now, there are multiple locations in here where you will find it, but this is the route that I took to find the optic. So I went in, I was swimming to the left till I went through this little hole and then got to a door that had a red arrow pointing for me to open it. And within there, I found the optic just lying there on the ground next to this shelf. Now have only two more blueprint parts to get. And these can be both found in the area of the map called the alpha cluster. In order to open the alpha cluster, you need to be within the chemical plant and you need to keep hugging the edges of the chemical plant until you find this area. We will see some grates in the wall and then in the middle, you will see a light illuminating a panel where it says something is missing and you're going to need to have a car battery and jumper cable. Now, if you are attempting these last two parts, I highly recommend you get these in our Mazra before you go in because it will make your life a lot easier. But once you've put in the battery and jumper cable, it will unlock two new bunker doors for you to open to the left or the right of where you place these parts in. Bunker doors will slowly open and you'll now be within the alpha cluster. Now, depending on what 
outside you've entered. We're going down a long hallway, but there will be a sentry gun waiting for you. So be sure to take that thing out. If you follow the pathway towards the exfil icon, you will be in a massive open area where we have the exact area where we will find the last two blueprint parts. There will be a lot of cartel AI. It is littered with traps everywhere. So be very careful as well as sentry guns on the other end of the room. Within this area will be two secret rooms, which will have the final two blueprint attachments, the grip and the muzzle. Let's show you how to open the secret room for the grip. You need to find three AQ laptops and then bring them into the alpha cluster room. You could bring these in if you find them in Almazra before you go into the complex. But if you spawn in from the Almazra city car park, you'll be in the information extraction where if you search all of the little rooms sit around this area, this is going to be the likeliest chance for you to find AQ laptops and you need to find three of them. Once you have three of them and you're in the alpha cluster up on these elevated platforms, you're going to find these racks of servers and one side of them is going to have this loose wire and there'll be a prompt for you to connect an AQ laptop. And once you've done, it will say server hacked one of three. Now I'm going to run across and then go to another server rack where you're going to find another loose wire. Now there are four of these in the alpha cluster, but only three of them will activate, which will have a loose wire. So just keep running around, looking around all the sides of all these different servers until you find them. When you get the prompt to connect the AQ laptop, just keep holding down. This will attract AI shooting at you whilst you're doing this. So just be wary of that. Make sure you have your teammates looking out for you. But once you've connected the AQ laptop to the third and final server, you'll get a prompt saying the server is hacked. And if you come over to this corner of the alpha cluster and mantle up, you'll now see this door will now say activate door. And then by opening it, you'll be in the secret room. And in one of these gaps, you will find the heated madness grip. Now let's show you how to get the heated madness muzzle. The second Easter egg, you're going to need to find the R4D detector, which you can find in the huts in the chemical plant. Once you've got that, make your way to the complete opposite side of the alpha for cluster room where you're going to find two sentry guns and some really difficult AI. So be sure to take them all out first. But once you've taken both out, you'll notice the sentry guns were blocking a door with a keypad. And if you hold your R4D detector at the keypad, you'll see there will be a secret code of three Russian letters. Make sure you take a screenshot of that. But around the alpha cluster, there's going to be four different blackboards that you need to look at with your R4D detector and take a photo of because somewhere in this photo is going to have one of the three Russian numbers that you're going to need to use the schematic to work out. Somewhere in the image, there is going to be a number that links up to that alphabet letter that you're looking for. The first blackboard is right below the keypad. In the middle of Alpha Cluster, if we go down here, you'll see we have another blackboard. So take a photo there. Just below this section, there is going to be another blackboard. So take a photo there. And on the opposite side of the room, there is also another blackboard, which will be the fourth one to take a photo there. But what you need to do is very carefully inspect all four of those blackboard images, because somewhere you are going to see that there is going to be a number with an arrow pointing towards a Russian letter. Some of them are very big and obvious and others, they are very hard to see. So definitely pay attention and take a look. But you're going to be linking these Russian numbers in the order left to right from that code on the wall. The code will be different every single game you play. But for us, we knew that the second and third numbers were zero and nine. So we just brute forced the first number and eventually we managed to work it out and the secret room was unlocked. Now, even I have struggled to find all three numbers in the four images. So if like me, you could only find two, I recommend just brute forcing to get that final number. Inside the secret room, you will find to the left that final weapon blueprint part, the muzzle. Once you have extracted with all five weapon blueprint parts, if you go over to the challenges, you should see See that you'll have six out of six completed because you exfilled with the five weapon blueprint parts that will allow you to unlock and put on the heated madness blueprint which is a blueprint for the castov 762 really hope you found this guide useful informative and concise if you did let me know by dropping a thumbs up commenting down below and subscribing for more dmz tips and tricks like this